latest on uh, 5G, and I guess the question would be that. Here's the setup. Boom, boom. Is there a catch? There is just a small one. It might kill you. <laughs> Good to know. I'm just very paranoid, you know what I'm saying? So many things that I be wanting to say, but I don't say. And I hate that people think that I'm just saying it because I'm trying to be. I did a video the other day where I noticed that one of these oranges that I had had a 2017 sticker on it and <clears throat> I had opened it up and it seemed like a normal orange and the research that I had done the oranges after they're picked are only good for about a month. That was picked in 2017. Still juicy. What a beautiful day after Christmas. Look at all this trash in the sky. Let's do a 360 on this one. There are growing concerns this morning over the safety of Cardiff City's new striker, Emiliano Sala. Uh, a great person, you know, he was so happy. Vladimir Putin has drafted in soldiers to investigate a collapsed mountain in a remote region of Siberia amid suggestions it may have been caused by a UFO crash landing. The Russian army has been dispatched to the scene to try and find out what caused the catastrophic event and move a 525 FT high mound of rock. Let me ask you at home and even the guys here in the studio a question. Let's say your boss offered you an easier way to log onto your computer in the morning or bypass having to get change for the vending machine or even get through a secure door uh, by having a microchip planted in your hand. Anyone? Yes? Anyone? No! Yeah, well, it's uh, apparently happening and not everybody's happy about the idea. Yesterday, 194 flying foxes that passed away due to the extreme heat yesterday, where it got up to 46 to 47 degrees in Campbelltown. Просто пипец какой-то. Смогу. Ну шар и шар. Появляются слева, блядь. Где, откуда? Вот слева идут. Видишь? Еще появляются, блядь. Just when you thought there could not be more change going on in the world, Magnetic North is moving. It has always moved, but not like this. It's just skipping along toward Russia. It's a natural, unstoppable occurrence, but because of it, some airport runways, calibrated by compass, are now three or four degrees off. agency is now in uncharted territory as the number of employee call-outs keep increasing because of the government shutdown now in day 30.
Uh, so we are on the grapevine by Gorman. We've been stuck here for about an hour now, a ton of snow. Look at this down here. It's awesome, but we're stuck in it. This technology involves putting in what they're calling small cells. Small cells only travel, the, the waves only travel about 500 feet, which means they need to be installed nearly everywhere, buildings, poles, things like that. So this is gonna involve the implementation of a lot more infrastructure, and along with that, the potential danger related to a number of health concerns. However, the requirements of small cell infrastructure needed for 5G will impact everyone's experience of the urban environment. We appreciate the opportunity to testify today so that the regulations enacted at the federal level and by the city minimize long-term damage. Breaking news for you right now, reports of a mysterious drones leading to disruptions at Newark Airport. FAA sources tell CBS2 they got reports of two drones flying about 3,500 feet over nearby Teterboro. It's, it's a metaphor for motherhood, what's going on socially in the world. And I think, you know, we're kind of getting to that place where we're not looking at people anymore. We're all very isolated. Yep. I'm very happy not to talk to anyone directly or make a call. I say, can I just text you? Can I just not have any human contact whatsoever and just stay in my pajamas in my bed and go shopping? Happen. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I was temporarily interrupted by my iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> But you've had some remarkable statements that I have listened to and said, that's powerful. You've talked about the, the need of this country to, to pay attention to where we're headed, down a, a path that really is the equivalent of, of I think you've used the term, John, uh, civil unrest. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, we're in a situation where, uh, obviously, uh, at, at this hour, we're being, uh, the American people are being forced to do something they, want, they don't want to do. Hmm. And it had like a 10 foot picture of my face on it. Just, no. <laughs> it made me want to go back to Satan worship. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I think it worked for me. It got me a career. <laughs> Oh, wow. 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 O
Ya Allah, ya Allah. Udah loh, masih ada tuh. Lari tuh lari-larian. Masih ada tuh nyamperin tuh. Iya tuh di depan Padayo, depan ya. Padayo. Ya. Depan Padayo lari-larian tuh. Oh, di pohon. Dia ah ke gudangnya nah itu. Gudang nanti yang ada ban. Mainnya di ban. So Jamie, when you were in intelligence, you determined the content of what, what's known as the president's daily briefing, which is the... My concern is that if, if these people who feel that the system did not represent them well, now have put their person in who they think is going to be different and going to make that change, and if that person doesn't then deliver on the change, what's their next move? What do they go to? And is it protests in the streets? Is it something that turns more violent, more extremist? Um, and I think we haven't seen this play out yet. Um, Perry, when did you hear us say that? That's not fair. Poverty is horrific. Kaylee, that's not, can Democrats you retract that? Kaylee, that's not fair. Democrats owe it to their constituents to, to say how they will be different than Barack Obama, how they will get African Americans out of this vicious cycle where you're in a failing school and then one Kaylee. third of America, African Americans are in poverty. That is horrendous. And it's time to live up to the promises that have been made to this community. It's unfair. Everyone deserves a shot at the American dream. And, and I have to correct something you said. Donald Trump was positive. He said African Americans have fought in every single war. They've raised the national conscience. Maybe you guys didn't hear that because you don't want to hear good things from Donald Trump. He was very good today and he was on the cutting edge of civil rights went at Mar-a-Lago. He was the first person to wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you got it. You 